Hey folks, I'm working on um, uh, virtualizing the white space in the four coder buffer system. Um, it's not um, anywhere near done yet, but I just wanted to make a quick early demo to show show it not working, just barely working and screwing around with it. Um, and then, you know, little pieces here and there as it comes together. So here's the basic concept, is that when I turn uh, white space virtualization on, it will basically allow me to arbitrarily decide how much to indent a line in terms of pixels directly instead of spaces and it'll take all the actual white space out of the buffer not that it deletes it so when it saves it it's gone the white space is still there but you can't um you can't see it um uh like in in four coder right there's no it does not appear as a character it just looks like one big white space chunk no matter how many spaces you put there um, that does have the downside that it maybe is not a little less intuitive on how you control the white space when you want to control it, but when you just don't care and you want it to format automatically to a specific rule all the time, um, uh, this means that uh, it, it will look the way it's supposed to look no matter what, whether your font is um, proportional or monospace and whether you're you know collaborating with someone else who has a different indenting rule and it also just means that um, like line wrapping uh, can happen automatically um, in a way that's sort of w w how should I put it um, that looks good as code it does good code formatting basically so um, the, way the, the way the concept works is as I said while it's figuring out where to how to lay the whole thing out um, it, I can just uh, arbitrarily say, oh, this line should start at this pixel, and it starts rendering that line there instead of at flat. Now, what I've done right now to just sort of demo this concept in a sort of um, useless but uh, funny-looking way is I've said, starting at the beginning, I put some offset on that first line, and then each line after that I increase until I hit a certain threshold, then I subtract some amount out, and then I continue going, right? And... Uh, the effect of this is that you get these sort of steps, but it also means that since it starts, the rendering starts, you know, it doesn't start at the first line, it starts at the, the, the lowest, the farthest down line it can get away with it, uh, so that it can, uh, you, so you don't see lines disappearing, but it doesn't render anything above the, 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 the lowest line it can, it can start at, basically, right? Uh, so, since I haven't done any smarts yet to make it sort of um, more static and, and go to other systems, this is just the rendering system so far. When you scroll around, you can see that the white space is virtual because it's applying the, um, the, the line uh, skips at different positions. Different lines get different skips as I scroll around because um, all the white space is totally virtual. But that actually, the text isn't changing at all. So. Um, that's it for now. My plan is to build this into something more um, uh, representative of what the system will actually be used for, and demo it again, and then get the whole system working with, you know, with cursor navigation uh, tied into the rendering layout, um, and that'll be that. All right, see you guys. Bye bye.